Right, I might be a little bit mad for doing this. I bought this book on eBay for £110 on auction. Will I make a profit? There's only one way to find out. If you are new to the channel, I'm John Luke. I'm a full-time eBay seller. That's how I make a living. So I buy things for a low price or sometimes a high price and hopefully sell it for a higher price than what I paid. So this book, Art of Avatar, obviously it's about the art of Avatar. This is from the first film. It was released in 2009. So you may be thinking, I'm mad and where did I get this idea from? It actually started in my Facebook group, Happy Days Resellers, where I see one of my subscribers sell this book for £660 on auction. I was like hang on a minute, <laughs> can I get one of these and where can I get it from? Since then, some have sold for less, 300s, 400s, and there's been a couple on bids in the UK that ended about 160, a couple of those, and I bought the lowest auction, which ended on £109. So in today's video, we're going to be getting this listed and we're going to see how much we can make. I have also got 20 orders on my eBay store that I need to pick and pack, so I'm going to show you what's sold, see how much profit we have been making. All right, so I'm in the garage. I've just picked the 20 sales that we've had and we need to pack. It's a mixed range of stuff. Good bit of clothes, good bit of bric a brac, a few games and stuff. So I'll go for everything. I'll tell you what I paid for it and what I sold it for. I'll kind of give you an idea of what to look out for when you're on the hunt for stock. And then, of course, we will deal with this little matter. So a lot of this is bread and butter stuff. So we sold the Scrabble for 15 there. And we sold this Small Gods audio CD for a tenner. So the CD we paid a pound for. It's just a Terry Pratchett audio book. Got a tenner for that. And the Scrabble we got off Charlotte for free. So she paid a pound for it and we got 15. On a recent video, you would have seen me pick up this Joseph Turner jumper. So this is the Joseph Turner. It's a Yorkshire brand. It's a large men's. It's in a nice pattern, lots of colours. So stuff like this sells really, really well. 100% wool, a pattern or lots of colours. And you're on to a winner. That is the first time I've picked up that brand. Next couple of sales, we've got a Gromit for £11. So this is kind of clearing out a bit of dead stock as well. We paid a pound for him. House of Brewer wool skirt, we did pay a pound for that and we got 30. So again, a good brand to look out for, House of Brewer. You've seen it on my channel a few times now and that is a pure new wool skirt. Nice kind of check pattern to it and it's in really nice condition. So following the skirt, we sold a box set on the buses for 20 pounds. That is that one there. We did pay four pounds for that. So four into 20. After that, we sold these next men's trousers, which were new with tags. And we got 22.49 for those. We paid two pounds. They were retailing at 70. But it is hard to achieve that, to be honest, with like just regular standard trousers. But two pounds into 22 is nothing to be ashamed of. We did sell this board game for 20. We paid two pounds for that one. Never seen it before. It's called Dixit. Good one to look out for. Pretty uncommon. We did pay a pound for this loop hay puzzle, 500 pieces, and we got £20 for that. That sold pretty, pretty instantly. We got that from the pound sale in the charity shop the other day. Little clothing sale there. We sold this hush dress for £11. That cost us a pound. Just getting that moved on, to be honest. It's been around for a while. Following that, we sold this vintage Malbec trench coat for £27.40. That's the brand there. It's actually really nice. Just not too much value in the brand, but it's actually a really high quality coat. So that was the that was the selling point on that one. That didn't cost as much. I think it's about three fifty. Next up was a little Lego sale. So we did a little Lego Friends bundle for fourteen ninety nine. That's all for. They set us back a pound. Nice easy large letter there. We then sold these shot glasses for twelve pounds. They always a pound. One of them that's been hanging about for a bit. So I had to get rid. To be honest, thought they might be worth a little bit more. Next sales Metal Gear Solid for seven ninety nine. That set us back fifty p. Same again. Plymouth Argyle top trumps for seven pounds. They set us back about fifty p. Little large letter sales. Another little vintage piece here. It's New York Yankees double XL t shirt. And that's that one there. It's actually really nice. It's just um, got a little mark on the front. So that kind of tampered with the price a little bit. But happy to get rid of that. We paid a pound. We got 18. Wrangler jeans seem to be selling quick when I do get hold of them. We got 20 pounds for that pair. And it was like a 38 waist. Nothing too crazy. Uh, we paid two pounds for those. This Chelsea polo we've had for donkeys. I think we've had it for like two, three years. It's actually got the old background from Manchester on there from like three summers ago. We got 10 pounds for that. It was a small size. It's actually a really high quality uh, polo. Didn't make a loss on it, but it's just been around for donkeys. Another little cool piece. We've got a tenner for the Power Ranger Builder Bear. Cool one to have in the store, but after fees and stuff, probably only made about a fiver on him. Last but not least, we got 11 50 for this England rugby shirt. Not too desirable, but we still made a decent profit. We paid £2 for that one. So nothing too crazy in sales. We had like some 30 some £40 sales, but nothing too wild. A lot of the sales were low-end stock bread and butter items just get them out the door and that is one thing to take from this like it's not always 100 300 pound sales sometimes you're just gonna have to get some 10 15 pound sales so don't be too down if some of your sales are low end like it happens to us all on that note though gotta get these packed up and then we can crack on with our day parcels are dropped off but suddenly we've got an absolute boot full of stuff so i'll break down what we've got so my good friends at hugs for henry 
sorted me out some of these boxes and I paid five pounds each on the boxes. So these are the ones that I use with the clothes. I think brand new, I've been paying like three for 50 pound at Argos or three for 60. So a fiver each is a coupe, but I'm really impressed with that. And these are gonna be going on this side very, very soon. So I've got five of them here and I've got two left down at the shop that I'm gonna pick up those up tomorrow. You just need a bit of a clean. Obviously they've been used but uh, we'll get them up to scratch. So we actually spent £105 there today, including the boxes and a load of stock that we bought as well. So lots of money to charity, but we did get a load of stock as well. So really impressed with that. So we got a couple of fragile bits. This being the first one, absolutely beautiful Tiffany lamp. Tiffany style lamp. Look at that. So it's been pack tested and working. Obviously you'll get the, uh, the bulb that goes in there. But you can achieve really, really good money for those. And then this next bit here, obviously we get all the free bubble wrap as well, but this is the next piece, which me and Charlotte might be keeping. Um, it is just a massive vase with like leopards on the side. So we don't know if it's anything special, special, but it says uh, made in China, hand painted in Macau, not suitable for food or whatever. So I'm going to speak to a certain sean and see what he thinks about it i don't think it's anything special but we just want to clean it up and we might keep it for when we buy a house anyway that worked out 15 pound for this one fiver on that one so in this box we have got a little baby bowden dress which is new with tags we recently sold one of those for 20 so we'll see how we get on with that this locker box here is brand new like a medical one because i did scan it and there was some listed at like 30 pounds so i'm not sure about that but um, brand new, should be an easy sell. We've got a couple of games here. They did do me a bulk deal, so it wasn't eight pound. Obviously it worked out 105 for everything. This one is worth at least 20 on the airplane one. This, next we've got this eighth army one. Um, again, at least 20 on that. This one here, at least 20 on that as well. Got a couple of model kits, Star Wars, like Millennium Falcon stuff. Again, around about a tenner each on those, I think. And this one here, again, we didn't pay that price, but this one's only available in America on eBay. So we should get at least 20 for that as well, brand new. We've got a few other little bits and bobs in there that we'll get out as well in a bit. And then Jackson, the manager, basically on these, there's nothing really on eBay. Um, they are games. A couple lot of French ones. I think this one is British, but they've all got English instructions. Anyway, there's not really any on eBay, but they are worth a few bob. It's just very, very niche. So we said, what we're going to do with these, we're going to get them on eBay, see what price we can achieve, and we're just going to split the money half and half after fees and postage and stuff. So we'll see how we get on with them. If anyone does know anything about these, they are interested, do let me know. Um, originally, at the convention they was doing, they was doing three for 50. So we'll just see what we can achieve on them. So yeah, we did buy all this, these three, kind of like a just a half split deal. And then we got some really cool motorcycle gear as well. So we've got some Kevlar jeans, Red Route London. I think you can get at least 20 on those, possibly more. We've got some Bering motorcycle trousers, lady version. All of this biking stuff just came in as we was there as well. So we've got a couple pair of cool boots as well. So we've got these SDI ones. And then we have got some Ducati ones as well. The Ducati ones sell really well for a good price. These ones, not as much, but you still get a decent price as well. Got a little, uh, there's a little Liverpool shirt in there as well. That's coming off. That's not fantastic. It's not in brittle condition, like. But um, I'm sure you can iron them back down, to be honest. I think that's like 2012, I want to say. 2013, 2014. Yeah. We've got these lifetime luggage bags as well. We've got three of those. You can get decent money for those. And then we got this beautiful motorcycle jacket which is a Ducati corpse. So that's pretty cool as well. Not fully, fully looked into it yet, but you can achieve some really, really good money for that. So the motorcycle gear cost us 35 in that. Obviously 15, five, 35 on the motorcycle gear. That was like 30 or something for those lot. And then we got the boxes as well. So it was a real good day. We got sorted out. We've got plenty of boxes now. We've got a couple more to pick up at the shop as well. But we've got to deal with this bad boy tonight. If anyone's paying good attention as well, we did sell it earlier, but I got it a bit wet. Only a bit with a bit of water, so I've had to dry it out. No damage or whatever, but yeah. I am a pain in the ass. I am so clunky. Clumsy, whatever word you want to say. I'm just, I just drop everything. 
here we have it this is the book so i'll just show you what it's all about obviously it's about the art of avatar beautiful shots and scenes and how things are created so any avatar fan would really enjoy this to be fair worst case scenario that is the only bit of damage by the way worst case scenario i don't sell it and i've got a beautiful book for myself because i am a big avatar fan anyway but we would like to sell it so i'm gonna get some photos taken now and i'll show you the listing i may be stupid for this but i just wanted this to pass through my hands just one of them things remember when stacy said he just wanted to have that bike pass through his hand before he sold it this is kind of one of those i just wanted to have one in my possession if it doesn't sell it doesn't sell but um yeah a moment of madness for myself but we're gonna profit off it all right so i've got that listed up here 279.99 we will see if it sells. So obviously I did pay £109 for it. So even after fees, if it sold for that, you get about £100 profit. So the whole thing is a little bit silly, but I just wanted to do it. For the record, Charlotte wasn't happy with me doing it, but some things you just got to do. Anyways, I'm going to close out the video here. Picked up loads today. We had loads of sales going out the door. So all good on this end of things. I hope you're all doing great. Have a great rest of your week. Go and smash it. Good luck at the boot sales and all that good stuff. Link down below is my Instagram page, my Facebook group, my eBay store, if you did want to nose it, and some Amazon links as well. So everything I use in my business is all linked down below. If you are brand new to the channel, hit subscribe. There's plenty of content like this on the channel. And hit like if you did enjoy today's video. It does make a world of difference. Anyway, I'll see you later. Have a good one.